guys, this is Gamer for Life here, and today I'll show you how to get iMovie for free on the Mac. So right now, as you can see, it told me to buy for $14.99, so it shows me that I don't have it right now. So the first thing you need to do is go to the link in the description and download uTorrent or any other site that can download torrents. After you've downloaded it, like I have here, there's another link in the description that I will be posting that leads you to here. After it leads you to this website right here, you should tap on get this torrent, which is right here. After you've done that, click on launch application and OK. Don't worry guys, this is virus free. I've tested it out, so no need to worry for viruses. After you've done that, you need to wait for iMovie to download 100% which may take a while depending on your internet speed. I will resume the video once the download has been finished. So I'll be right back. The movie just finished downloading for me, so I'll show you what to do from here. Now all I have to do is d um, double, I mean, left click on this and then click show in, I mean click open. And after you click open, wait for this expanding iMovie. After you've done this, you should see the iMovie here in your downloads folder, so just transfer it to your desktop. After you've done this, double tap on iMovie so it can download. I mean open. Wait for it to open. Th this process might take 5 to 10 seconds the most. Sorry for the wait, guys. This is a big application, so... It shouldn't take any longer now. If you want to, you can skip a couple seconds from this video. And make sure not to skip this because this is a very important step. And just to remind you again, the download on uTorrent may take more for you. Anyways, after it's open, you should see this window that looks something like this. After you've done this, just drag iMovie into your applications folder. After this has happened, your applications folder should open. Or if not, just go to your applications folder manually. After this has happened, it will take a while for this to copy into your applications because this is a 2.95 gigabytes um, file. iMovie is re real powerful uh, as I repeat that. It will take about two minutes, but it should take less. I will not skip this part so you can exactly see what happens so you not so you don't get confused.
Anyways, what's happening right now is I'm copying iMovie to applications. Again, sorry for the wait. But this will be worth it, trust me. Now there's less than a minute left, so this should be rather quick now. Five, four, three, two, one, and there we go. Now it should be copied into your applications folder. So now you, all you have to do is double click on it, and iMovie should open. Which library would you like to open? Just click on New Library, and then you can rename it as you can save as whatever you want. But for this video, I'll just write test and then click save. After this has happened, it'll welcome you to iMovie. The best way to enjoy and share your video, just click continue. What's new in iMovie and just click get started. After this has happened, you can import your videos, create videos, and um, anything you want. So thanks for watching. Hope this, hopefully this video helped you out. I'm, iMovie did cost um, it does cost a lot of money, but this way you can get it for free and still have all the features. We have iMovie. You might notice that the version of iMovie that I gave you to download is a little bit older than this um, newest one, which is 10.1 4K. So it's like a little bit older. Not a but in order to fix this, all you have to do is update it. This is completely free because since this is some things you already have iMovie. So I'll just let you update this now for free. So after you've put in your Apple ID, it should directly just update it to you to the newest one which is 10.1 um, with no cost at all as you can see I just I'm just updating it right now in this uh, installing and this process might take a while but anyways this is how you get um, iMovie 10.1, which you can actually edit 4K video. So the new features of this are you can create and share movies stunning 4K. That's the reason why um, you should probably update. But if you don't, if you want to stay with this old one, which I don't know why you would, just don't update it at all. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you like and subscribe for more content, and peace.